They call you the king of Sulaco. Well, I've just deposed you. Listen to me. You will sign some papers that I've prepared for you. Then you and your charming wife can leave the country safely. No. Then I will have you shot. Then the mine will be blown up. Superb. A true caballero. You are the man I took you for. And you are the man we need because you are unshakable. So let us caballeros discuss together how we can run this mine to our mutual benefit. See, together we can make ourselves and we can make this country very, very rich. And that's what you want, isn't it? Hmm? I mean, how short-sighted to blow up all that silver. You need time to consider. I will give you until tomorrow. Speak to your wife. Today I'm very busy. I must deal with a dangerous man. Come. A traitor, Coronel Sotillo. He has betrayed his office. For you, senor, you can be sure that we are in charge and the town is safe. Tell your wife. I noticed her particularly when we were here at the ball. She's very charming. Oh, but she has nothing to worry from His Excellency Don Pedro Montero, governor of Sulaco. At your service. Don Carlos, now we know each other. We're both Costa Guanans, and we want the same thing. And Don Carlos, don't make me fetch you, hmm? Are you serious? Has the position already been filled? Yeah, I know it's a hard, cruel world out there, but you must be extremely desperate. What are you talking about? Well, my manager got shot to death last night. Hasn't even hit the streets yet. How in God's name did you even find out? The truth? Yeah, the truth. I have a friend who works down at the city morgue and she knew I was looking for a job. What do you mean? Well, under the circumstances, I don't think you'll find many candidates enthusiastic about being here alone at night. Well, it was an aberration. The manager left the door open and things happen. Well, of course they do. But there's reality and then there's perception. Do you have a resume? Mm-hmm. When I was ready to return to work, I found myself in the middle of a little weather system called a recession. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're overqualified. Oh, and overmotivated. Why am I not leaping at this? Surprise, huh? For both of us. I see you notice a photograph. There he is, my poor brother. The late General Montero. He had a stroke, fell off his horse, and died. Whereas, look at me. I'm a changed man. I'm wearing the latest fashion from Paris. And you, a prosperous sea captain. Do I need this? Nah. Surely they haven't sent the great Nostromo to assassinate me. No, sir, this is business, and in business you only kill people that betray you or don't pay you. I saw you come in here, and I thought, who sent him? What does he want? And then I understood. He's got it. I said to myself, he's got what that imbecile Sotillo couldn't find. He has it. A fortune and he wants to change it into money. So you've been talking to different people in various ports, trying to find the man that can do it. And here I am, at your service. 